Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to talk about the OpenAI Assistant. For the ones following me, they probably know that I am not the biggest fan of the OpenAI Assistant. It times out very often and it also is really inaccurate and inconsistent over API calls. A few days ago, I was testing it out again and I actually found out a way to make it more accurate, more consistent and reply much faster. Anywhere between the 6 to about 15 seconds to generate a really good and structured reply. And that is not using the file upload and retrieval function that is built into the OpenAI Assistant because that provides me with too many inaccurate responses and of course those timeouts. So if I go towards the OpenAI Assistant right now and take a look at my CMA Assistant, CMA stands for Chatbot Marketing Accelerator, I have no files added as you can see at the bottom, right? What I did instead is I'm using the instructions to upload all of my business information about the membership, any potential videos that I have uh, on my official channel. Everything is inside the instructions because not many people know this, but the instructions can hold up to 32,000 characters, meaning that will be more than you will ever need for your instructions on how the chatbot should reply, right? I added all my business information and tried it also with a few other kinds, uh, types of businesses and 32,000 characters is just insane when you think about it. So what I did inside the instructions, I have my persona here. Then I have the role that this persona needs to maintain. I then have all my business related information here. As you can see, the list just goes on and on. And then at the end, I also have my guidelines for response, as you can see here from this section all the way up to the bottom, right? All of this is just around the 18, maybe 20,000 characters. That means that I still have 12,000 characters that I can use to expand the instructions and the assistant on. Pretty crazy when you think about it, right? So when doing an assistant completion now, basically the assistant does not have to do any retrieval functions because there are no files that are uploaded and attached. It just search for the information directly inside of the instructions overview, which is much faster to generate replies as well. It will also generate much more accurate replies. So with this being said, I'm also having the model GPT-4-1106 preview, which is a little bit slower to respond, uh, but I actually found that it's okay with this amount of information inside the instructions. So if we go back towards UChat, I just built a really simple flow. And as you can see here, just an initial question, then an assistant completion, and then from here, I'm going to give the reply to the user, user types in another question, and then we're just going to loop between these two nodes. With that being said, let's try this out. There we go. And let's just ask a few questions, right? Let's see how long it takes, give or take, before the assistant is able to answer. So how can I help? Let's say, what does the CMA stand for? And again, uh, and the responses will be between the six up till 15 seconds most times. And we're now about five seconds in, seven, eight, and there we already have it. So CMA stands for Chatbot Marketing Accelerator. It's the name of the membership program I founded to help members leverage conversational marketing to its fullest potential using resources like premium templates, workshops, mini apps, and even one-on-one -on -one coaching to boost their business. So let's say uh, that sounds great. Uh, can you tell me more about the templates? So let's ask this question. And actually inside the instructions, I have a lot of information about my templates. So let's see if it still generates a reply between that six up till 15 seconds. We are around the seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. So it has about five seconds more to go, but it should generate a reply. And here we have it. So again, between the six to up to 15 seconds is pretty good. So absolutely, I love, love to tell you more about the templates. So as you can see, a really structured and good reply. Let's just quickly glance over it and it seems really, really good. And also a good incentive to claim the $500 discount when using this link to join the membership as well. Um, let's also state that, um, do you happen to have any templates for the ManyChat platform? Inside the instructions, I have a section that mentioned that I'm only focusing on the UChat platform for my membership, right? So I just wanted to see if the assistant returns back that exact same reply or a variation. And as you can see, I'm focused on providing the best tools and templates for the UChat platform within the chatbot marketing accelerator membership. UChat is incredibly versatile and powerful for creating chatbots. And my aim is to empower users to fully utilize its capabilities. Um, so as you can see, again, it gives that its incentive for joining uh, with the discount. 
So you can see how fast it replies with the information given and the information inside the instructions is much faster to search through rather than doing a rather than doing a retrieval function directly uh, inside of any file that you might have uploaded. So if you are having issues with the OpenAI Assistant, try to input your business information directly inside of the instructions section of the OpenAI Assistant itself, just between the guidelines for the response and after your pro, basically your persona and the role that you want to give that persona. So basically that is the ideal setup for the OpenAI Assistant. So if you have too much information crossing the 32,000 characters, right? You might consider having multiple assistants for different kinds of use cases. So if you have an assistant to talk about the more technical aspects of your product, service, or platform, then you have an assistant for that. If you want to have a support assistant, right? Uh, if you want to have a sales assistant with specific use cases, then you can do that as well. Basically splitting up your business information into multiple assistants to have an assistant for each individual section of your business, which also results in faster replies and also be more accurate at the same time. So I hope this video helped you out. If so, do consider dropping a like because it will help me reach more people and spread my passion about conversational marketing. If you have any questions, do let me know and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. For now, have a great day. Take care and talk really, really soon.